Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to build a new React.js project. We are going to build a blog, a full stack blog with React.js. Now for the front end we'll use React and for the back end we will use Google Sheets and we will use a provider which will convert the Google Sheets as a database and give us an API which we can consume in our React frontend. Now, if all of that sounds a bit too complex, then don't worry. In this video, we are going to do this step by step and it's going to be very simple. Now, I haven't planned much ahead for this. I'm going to do everything as I discover when I do it. So there are going to be a lot of mistakes. There are going to be a lot of exploration around what to use and what not to use. So I'm doing this basically so that you can get an idea of how actual software development happens and you can actually see someone doing mistakes, solving those mistakes and basically get the entire view of how uh, any coding project works out. So before we begin, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe and also like the video. And uh, if you have any doubts, feel free to ask in the comments and the link to codes and everything uh, other details will be in the description. If this video turns out to be too long, then I'll split it into multiple. If not, then it'll be just one. Let's see how it goes. So without wasting much time, now let's jump in uh, and start coding. So I have created a React.js project here. Uh, to keep it simple, I used create react tab. I know that's deprecated now, but for the sake of tutorial, uh, let's keep things simple. I'm in my editor here in the app.js file. So first of all, let's go ahead and remove this and just give it a title called my blog. Save and yeah so now the next thing we need to do is before we build out this project let's write some plan okay so let's write some to do's that we'll do so first thing is we need to be able to create new blog second display the all the blogs third okay second would be in a list third would be uh, a blog page where the entire blog uh, is displayed and four other operations like edit delete right right so let's begin with the first step we'll go with create new blog right so for that let's first of all create a new component called create post sounds good so we'll go here we'll create a components folder and we'll name our component create post dot js and we'll copy the name here if you're completely new to react and you don't know then uh, the component name in react should begin with a capital letter okay that's the convention hit save so now this is a new file let's create the structure of the component const create post equals we'll create only functional components uh, as that's basically the standard pattern nowadays we won't be doing any class-based components in this tutorial 
So now we'll use arrow functions to create a functional component like this. And this functional component will return something. Okay. Now these are basically empty tag tags. They are used when you don't want to use uh, any div or any actual markup, but you want a container to wrap multiple children in one parent. Okay. Uh, this is shorthand for basically react.fragment. You might have seen that somewhere. So it's, we can write react.fragment in both of the tags or we can just keep the tags empty. Okay. Now before we forget anything, first of all, we need to export this component and we'll do a default export. So export default, create default. So what this means is now other components will be able to uh, import this component and use it uh, within themselves. Okay. So for now, let's just give it a title called create new post. Hit save. After hit save, let's go to our app.js and let's try and import that component. So we'll just write the name of the component and hit enter. So this auto imports. So VS code auto imports this. Uh, I might have some extension that does that or maybe it does it by default. If it doesn't, then you can just type this out and your component will be imported. And writing this here means that the create post component uh, markup or the entire code will be uh, uh, come in here in this scope and will be displayed on the screen. So let's check it out. And here you see my blog and under that the create new post. So, so far you have created a new react component, create post. Now you know how to create components and you know how to display child components inside of a parent component. Okay. So you're doing great. Let's move on to the next step. First of all, we want some inputs on the screen. Okay. So what are the inputs that we want on the screen? Uh, let's write some comments here. So the inputs that uh, the inputs that we want are one enter the title, right? Enter a small description of the blog an image URL, right? And then the body of the blog. And so these are the ones we'll do first. And if there is some time, we might also go for tags and category stuff like that. Okay. And date. Cool. Maybe even author. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Or if we don't do these things, then you can take these as a homework and do them yourselves. Okay. Right. So now let's move on. We'll create an input. Uh, you know what? Instead of just doing it with a simple HTML, let's use a library, a UI library, so that it looks nice out of the box. We are going to use this library, which I use a lot and is my go to library called Evergreen UI. So let's first install it. Let's grab this command, copy, go to our CLI and install in the project folder. And there it's installed. So now let's check out the components. First of all, we want the text input component. We want the controlled component. Let's copy this back in our code editor, paste it. And now we need to import it. We can just hit enter. So that imports it. If not, then you can import it like this. Okay. Next, we need to create some state variable to hold this state. So 
first of all I'll create a title variable set title and we'll use the use state lifecycle hook from the react hooks API to define the state in a functional component hit enter it imports like this and the initial value of title will be empty now we need to hook this state to our input text input what we'll do here is replace set value with set title and we'll replace value with a uh, title hit save now let's go back and check it out here we have our text input and we can type something out and it types as well we can double check it by just uh, creating a p tag and uh, putting out title here yeah as you can see our title input is working well so okay so this video is already about 10 minutes so i'll end it here and we'll continue in the next video so if you can't find uh, the video uh, i would link it in the description as well as in the cards uh, if not you can just go to the channel or the playlist and find the video